A few months ago, I was asked to speak to an outer Melbourne community in Australia that were massively affected by the 2009 bushfires. You know, hearing some of these personal stories about what happened early February 2009, you know, where 173 people lost their life with another 300 plus with permanent injuries as a result of Australia's worst ever bushfire was very sad to say the least. Yet the hope and rebuild of these communities have been nothing more than remarkable. I heard of one small town that was completely surrounded by the fires. The electricity had gone and uncertainty really blackened the minds of everyone that was in this town. Many did not know whether the fire was going to consume them or not. You know, actually I spoke to a lady by the name of Kerry, a woman who was there and she spoke about the ordeal and, and how the frantic men and women and children, how they were all pitching in on the street, you know, helping to fight these fires. Um, and, and the stories that emerged from that, the stories about the community spirit and the one and only shop in this town pitching in, supporting everyone, you know, it was so inspiring and really it actually moved me. See, hearing this story and learning how stories and heroic acts like this was an imperative part of the rebuild of this community made me think about how powerful stories can transform us. You know, the past few years have been tough for these men and children um, and everyone in this community and obviously what they went through was just so much, yet the stories that have immersed from this have inspired these communities to really bounce forward. Our corporate stories are just as important as our names and our logos. The stories that customers tell about our service or what employees tell about their experience working for their, empl their employers can support or corrupt our branding and our reputation. Success stories, campaign stories, life stories, the corporate history, motivational stories, problem solving stories, is inspirational stories. There are so many useful stories, forms that businesses and corporations can access and utilize. Sales staff or really anyone that builds relationships with people really need to be able to tell a story and paint a picture for their clients to both to motivate them, to inspire them, to really in order for, for someone to take action, you need to not only educate, inspire and give them statistical analysis of why they need your products or your services, but you need to transform them. Transformation comes from powerful storytelling that disrupt human behaviours to take action. More and more success is won by, by creating compelling stories that have the power to move partners, shareholders, customers, employees to take action. Actually, Peter Gerber, um, a master storyteller, said, if you can't tell it, you can't sell it. Good storytellers are good communicators. They respond to an audience, large or small, with flexibility and creativity. They draw on an understanding of narrative structure, metaphors, characters and dialogues to present stories in ways that each specific audience can connect with. So, let me ask you a question. How can I tell better stories? How can we tell better stories? You know, the stories don't really have to be about how you died and how your arm was amputated and how you had an accident or anything crazy like that. But even turning an everyday experience into a powerful story that transforms a person to think, act and do things differently. I'll be running workshops throughout 2012 on how to tell powerful stories. If you're interested, please send my team an email, info at samcorcom.com.